I'm Sam and I run Unknown Vision, a collective of video producers that specialise in live stream production here in Melbourne. Today we're at Arnie Pegg's Cafe in Collingwood and we're producing a live stream to showcase some of Proud Mary's new products. Having been involved in the live streaming space for a few years now, I've used all sorts of systems and products to create live production for a huge range of clients. We've recently started using the NinjaCast on live production shoots, especially shoots like this one that require a straightforward, efficient setup. I'm personally really happy with the ability to produce a full-scale live stream production with just the NinjaCast and a laptop. It's the most compact equipment footprint we've ever operated. It takes what was previously two full trestle tables of equipment and downsizes it into a kit that now fits in my backpack. Given that the Ninja 5 is already part of our camera monitoring setup, getting hold of the Atom X cast module was an exciting next step to creating a super portable live production setup. It instantly added efficiency to our production workflow and meant that we can now leave a lot more gear at home when we go out on shoots. And then comes back to the roastery, it's in the perfect condition for us to roast. In today's live stream, we're going to be going through some exciting categories, our mild, curious and wild. One of the standout features for us is having the ability to monitor, control, record and operate all from one device. The portability of the unit means I can situate myself closely to the cameras and assist the team in framing things up, adjusting colour and also have direct communication with the talent. We're also cupping coffee as well. The NinjaCast has been a welcome addition to our live streaming workflow. The four HDMI inputs was really advantageous for our small scale live streams. The NinjaCast has four camera inputs and a total of three outputs, which gives us a lot of flexibility in connecting extra monitors for the client or providing external systems with a clean feed of visuals. With previous setups, we relied heavily on implementing a large computer system to process all of our input and overlays separately. But now the majority of that processing load can be handled by the NinjaCast. All we need is a laptop to connect to via USB and we simply send the output to a program like OBS or vMix. While the touchscreen makes things super easy, I personally prefer to use the physical buttons to switch and cue cuts. The tactile buttons and colour-coded lights give a clear indicator of what's live and what's cued, which takes out a level of confusion that sometimes comes with using software-based streaming programs. Also, Every input has its respective frame rate listed in the input menu, which gives us a central point to quickly compare the output settings on all cameras connected to the NinjaCast. This makes for a super simple way of matching up all cameras, ensuring we have all our equipment in sync when going live or producing recording. And what that means is after the coffee is picked and pulped, the function modifier buttons also give us really easy access to features and settings like audio monitoring, graphics overlays, and quickly adjusting the picture in picture layout. Given that the function buttons are clearly mapped to frequently used settings, I have no issues adjusting things on the fly. And making sure when we roast it, we're getting the true flavour of the coffee out. Obviously the ProRes recording is fantastic and imports flawlessly into all editing programs we use. The ability to load in 8 PNG graphics and tie them to certain inputs as you switch is also super handy. I'm really impressed with the versatility of the NinjaCast and I'm actually excited to break new ground with the setups we can now do with its power and portability.